next half an hour or so, I will be speaking on the approach for the management of candidemia. I will confine myself to the intensive care unit. I would agree that there were differences in the management when it comes to other parts of the hospital. Why it has become important? The incidence of fungal infection is increasing, more so because more and more doctors are getting sensitized to the fact that fungal infections are a reality and not a myth. The spectrum of fungal disease is changing what we were studying in our medical college days. Those microbes have changed colors, they have started appearing in different forms. So that is a difference that is we are seeing today. On top of everything else, the drugs that we were using in those days are not being effective today because of resistance and cross resistance. And we know that Candida and Aspergillus have, uh, have emerged as the most common causes of invasive fungal infection accounting for 70 to 90 percent of uh, invasive mycosis where Candida is concerned and 10 to 20 percent of cases where Aspergillus is concerned. So our hands are quite full when it comes to managing fungal infections and let me tell you I am one of those clinicians we find ourselves deficient in our knowledge when it comes to managing fungal infections. So let us hope we try to change that in the next uh, few slides. Why the incidence has increased? It is more so because we are more aware about diagnosing fungal infections. The sensitivity of uh, our antennas have gone up when we are suspecting fungal infections and that leads to better diagnosis. More broad spectrum antibiotics are being used nowadays than ever before. That could be one of the reasons why yeast or fungal infections are coming as a super infections. We are treating more and more complex and more serious patients in our ICUs. Our ICU patients are older, they are had complex interventions done in them, they have undergone transplants of various organs, they are being subjected to more intensive cytotoxic therapy which has become possible only because of the advances in the intensive care management and immunosuppressive therapy has become a norm rather than the exceptions. And then because the general improvement in the care in all the services of medical sciences, the survival of these patients have gone up and when this survival has gone up, what is left behind is these opportunistic infections like fungal infections coming and invading our body and obviously we are dealing with patients who are at a higher risk of developing these infections because ICU population as a rule are more at risk of developing fungal infections. The problem that we have is that in case we do not diagnose fungal infection in time, then the chances of patients dying from fungal infection becomes exponentially higher. You can see it from that slide that when you delay the start in antifungal treatment by as less as 24 hours, the mortality.